Hello, folks. We are on the red carpet for the world premiere of Sticky Situation. George Hanson on the red carpet. We're here with the lady, the myth, the legend herself, writer, producer, actress, and you name it, Summer Angel, and always call her. Uh, I always say this, Spike Lee don't have anything on Summer Angel. <laughs> so, Summer, talk to me about Sticky Situation and the world premiere tonight. Um, Sticky Situation is something that I've been writing mm -hmm. for quite a few years now. We did episode one okay. and we were so surprised because we were driving from um, Washington mm -hmm. where we had won the Nollywood Best Movie Award okay. for, for somewhere in Baltimore. And I came up with the idea mm -hmm. and I just kept writing it and I okay. sat on it, sat on it. And after years, I called the cast mm -hmm. members and came together and we put it out. And the first time we put it out, we had over a million views. Okay. We had 18,000 views per day. Mm -hmm. We put the second one out, it was a hit. Mm -hmm. And now we did the third one. This is the one, the third one is the one that we actually all are here for. But we okay. have to watch episode one, two, mm -hmm. and three to see the ending okay. that, that calls what goes around comes around. Okay. This is the one that people is here for. Mm -hmm. So I just, I'm, I just appreciate everyone coming out, supporting Sticky Situation and the cast members. And I'm happy to see every single one of y'all here tonight. At, at this time in history, why is it so important for Jamaicans or people of the diaspora to tell their own stories? Actually, it's important for everybody of everywhere to tell a story because writing stories, you mm -hmm. can relate. Okay. You can watch a movie and relate and say, Dad, she went, I'm not the only one here. She went through the same thing I did, mm -hmm. you know? So stories relate to people and it gives people something to do. And with this pandemic going on, you like, okay. you just want something to you gravitate something. to, you know? So I think writing takes people away from all this Mm -hmm. craziness you know mm -hmm. just putting your mind for a few hours in a different world okay. other than the, the one we're living in mm -hmm. so I just like writing okay yeah you know there's so many stories to be told in Jamaica right um, why this one this particular one is um, because most Jamaicans that come here <laughs> most of us that come here some of us come here because our family members here right. and our parents send us here to be raised by our family members. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that when you come to another country, you're not around your, your biological parents. Sometimes you get abused. Okay. Sometimes you get mistreated mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So telling stories like this is to open people's eyes mm -hmm. on what people really do to mm -hmm. kids and the abuse and the drugs and what people have to do to survive in life. Mm -hmm. So this, the angel character is what you have to do mm -hmm. and even her sexual needs for mm -hmm. different stuff mm -hmm. is based on what sh happened to okay. her in her life she was afraid of men because of what happened while mm -hmm. she was growing up so sticky situation will open your eyes especially episode three what goes around comes around okay. trust me it's beautiful and all the cast members they did a great job great great job and i'm proud of them i, I know you're a very humble lady on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your performance with 10 being the highest? Oh, sure. <laughs> I don't know how, 
I always critique my performance. Okay. I watch things and I critique everything I do. I said, maybe I could have turned that way or maybe I could have said, shut up that way or, you know, so mm -hmm. I, re I always say I could have done better. Okay. So by saying that, it makes me want to do better, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm, yeah. So I just want to keep watching, watching, watching. Even Fleming, you can watch episode one, two, and three and see the big difference. Mm -hmm how things change as we gradually step up the ladder. Mm -hmm. And trust me, Philadelphia will be surprised by the third episode oh. of the ending because okay. it's a banger. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Summer Angel production. Hello everyone, George Hansen here with Sticky Situation World Premiere. We're here with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Caffrey. You know, I, I felt the energy. I felt the energy on the set. Um, I know one, one of my relatives, my Uncle John, is oh. was part of the filming. And you know, I know the creativity and the energy that he brings, so I think it's gonna be a great production. I haven't seen the full product yet, but I think it's gonna be a great production, you know? Once again, I'm here with Reverend Dr. Reed, who portrays a psychiatrist in the world premiere of Sticky Situation. Dr. Yes. Reed, talk to me about your part, your well, role. Well, my part is that I portray a counselor, psychiatrist, and I'm really involved with those that are in need, and especially those that are on drugs and those that have been abused, and Actually, Sticky Situation is comparison to so many people's lives, and I understand, praise God, what everybody is going through. But most of all, I like to say that Summer Angel, she's been a beautiful person mm -hmm. and, and produced this picture and this movie, and I would like to invite each and every one to come out and see Sticky Situation. We're here again. We're here with Sarah, who's in Sticky Situation. Uh, Sarah, tell me about your role and... Uh, how it was filming? Well, I'm in episode three. Oh. Yes, and um, I'm in a small role. Mm -hmm. The scene that I have is like a therapy scene, mm -hmm. and I'm excited to see the result of it because I haven't seen it yet. Um, I saw episode one and okay. two, and um, I was privileged enough to be in episode three, so I'm very excited about it. <laughs> Mr. Porter, talk to me about your role in Sticky Situation. Um, my role in Sticky Situation um, I actually came in as one of her bodyguards, oh. right? So after she's went through all that turmoil, she actually find out who is behind everything. And I actually come in as, you know, our little muscle. What makes your role so impactful, Mr. Porter? The fact that the movie, the narrative of mm -hmm. the movie, right? And to show that a man actually had her back at the end of the movie because everything that she went through as a character okay. during the movie is caused by a man. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we also as kings need to take a lesson from the movie mm -hmm. to say that it's time to defend our queens. It's time to elevate and emulate our queens as the queens that they are. We're here with Kitty Container. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. You? Great, great. Talk to me about this movie. Well, Summer Angel been, been my friend since day one, you know what I mean? And she always having movie coming up and I never get a chance to be a part of it okay. or even come and watch it. So mm -hmm. this is a real moment where mm -hmm. I'm looking to see her act and see everybody in it who I know because mm -hmm. a lot of my friends are in it. Okay, okay. Hello folks, we're on the red carpet here with Miss Lisa Lloyd who came out tonight to see Sticky Situation, some angel. Yes. Talk to me about you coming out, Miss Lloyd. What well, intrigued you so, about this movie? I heard so much about it, so I was curious, and I want to see it. Okay. Uh, do you know anything about the plot? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will learn tonight. You're going to learn tonight? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're here with Culture B. Delgado, the one-man entertainment himself. Culture B, talk to me about this movie, man. Well, I'm not a part of this movie, but okay. I, I know her, right. and uh, she's a friend of mine, mm -hmm. so I'm here to support her mm -hmm. and support in role. Hello, folks. We're on the red carpet with my man, Paul. Paul, you're out here to support. Talk to me about this movie. What got you out here on this Sunday night? Well, I'm in the movie. You're in the movie? Yes. yes. Okay, big uh, role, I, small role? Small role. I got a call from my brother, and he okay. said, uh, I need you down here to you know, be in this movie. So me and my son went down. Um, I play a policeman, but I'm also a policeman, so I'm going to arrest anyone that does something wrong. Oh, I mean. you're actually a policeman? No, no, I'm okay. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Black Jesus. How you doing, sir? Yeah, everything well, bless, openness. Yeah, what brought you out here tonight? What was so interesting that got you out here on this Sunday night? Everything interesting, you know. I don't know, is a, you know. 
Somebody I try to do a thing and make sure so the thing work and upness and well blessed. So just they are going to support her, you know? Right. A big scream soon. Big scream soon. Big scream soon. One more move and this fight will be gone soon. Nobody is here to take this broken hand. Not for long, just one more move. I'm here with Shy. Shy, we just saw the premiere sticky situation. Yeah. You were shy, you played shy. Talk to me about your part and how it felt being in such an impactful movie. Well, this is the first time I'm actually seeing this part. Okay. And um, I take I take over the role mm -hmm. of Shy in okay. the third scene. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm very proud to say the third part was amazing. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. The production was good. Mm -hmm. It all came together the movie all came together it did. and it made sense mm -hmm. talk to me about your role and how did you feel watching yourself <sighs> it was epic because i never saw the movie before it's in today mm -hmm. my role was a, a child has been abused by her right. pastor mm -hmm. and um the sticky situation in that role is the fact that nobody wants to experience mm -hmm. that and to play a role that you never experienced was kind of mm -hmm. touching and it's for child abuse so i'll do that every time Okay, I'm here with G Warrior. G Warrior, talk to me quickly about your role. Yeah, blessed. Well, you know my role, me a role with, me a role with the, the security guard for Angel. So you okay. know the thing, go. yeah, we are protect her in the streets. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you know we have to watch her head work and make sure everything good, you know. On a scale of one to ten, what would you give this movie? Yeah, I like the effort, I like the thing, I like the whole, you know, the whole concept of the movie. So I okay. give it a ten out of ten. You know, we have to support each other and support the one, you know. Hello, Vanessa. Yes. How was it seeing yourself on the screen? I was a little nervous. <laughs> you said your role was small. Which role did you play? Okay, I was basically I was a, I was in the studio, and I that answered was you? the yes. I was okay. a shortcut here. <laughs> okay. Well, head one. <laughs> yeah. You did a great job. Thank you. So, what do you want to say to the rest of people who have not seen this movie? Oh, it's a good movie. Um, you should just come out and see it, or whenever she have it released. You know, go see it. It's good. <laughs> We're here right here with Remin Remington Steel. Mr. Steel talk. I'm give name of I, a gun. I met Summer Angel about 20 years ago. 12 year reggae artist, you know, okay. a summer meter. So how was your role in the movie? I play an undercover cop. I play a dirty cop though, you know? Yeah, that yeah. was you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some oh, of the three my. scene man we played a part with me, arrest the youth. Right. I'm on the street doing the undercover. Well, I'm going, what's up, Charlie? I, all the time I see, you know. But, but Mr. Like, Steel, that seems so natural. Well, you know, a long time I had to be still. You know? A long time we saw it. Okay, what would Yo. you say to everybody who haven't seen this movie? Yo, that movie are a nice. I'm surprised to see how the movie turn out. I can't believe it. Big up Summer Angel. Right. Because a lot of women need to follow her footsteps. On a scale of 1 to 10, mm -hmm. I give her a 12. You know why? For effort. Effort. For consistency. Consistency. For trying. Right. For getting out there and not making excuses and getting it done. Mm -hmm. And for putting Philadelphia on the map and for opening the doors such as people as myself. It's my first acting role. Right. You understand me? She shows strength. She shows integrity. She shows everything that a Jamaican woman from Nanny. You remember Nanny and the exactly. Maroons? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Big well, up your thank Jamaican you colleagues. Mr. Outlaw Wanda. No Outlaw, <laughs> talk to me about your role in the movie, man. Well, I think you carried the movie. <laughs> You stole the show. Everybody I tell me said I'm like it. Man. You know what I mean? So my angel, I'm a friend from a long time. And mm -hmm. She approached me and said, yo, I have a project. I'm going to feel like you fit this role the best. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? I'm a friend and I want to say she's the well in life. Right. And well successful. And so anything for help out. We're here with the one and only Craig G. You just saw this movie. Talk to me about the movie. I'm loving it. Loving it? Loving it. We love everything about it. What message did you take away from that movie? Well, a lot. Mm -hmm. Movie was very deep. It had me thinking about my daughter as well. Okay. Especially about the molestation. Mm -hmm. That's something you, adults, parents really need to 
mm -hmm. educate their kids on. Okay, okay. I really find that part really deep. You know it, was, it was really deep. Warian, aka Trendsetter, talk to me about this movie. Trust me, I was blown away, man. As I say, I'm very proud of the whole movement. Okay. I'm very impressed. You know, it was a great work, and I, as I say, I just want you to keep up the good work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I look forward to see the greater things she's going to do as she go further. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot of potential, a lot of quality, right. a lot of meaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what was man. one message or lesson that you took away from that movie? The main message is the, as I said, the child molesting where most of the people have been doing and get away from it. Right. We really need to start looking into that some more and mm -hmm. put a stop to stuff like that because there's a lot of people suffer from right. stuff like that, change their whole life by going through those dramatic you know, vibes. So we really need to start looking into that more and put a stop to it. Final question. One word to describe that movie. Excellent. 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 Yeah, excellent. I'm here with the mayor himself. I thought Jim Kenny was the mayor of Philadelphia, no, but no. The, the official mayor of Philly, He's Dan Dan, Dan, the man yeah. himself. Dan Dan, Dan talk to me. We know you're the dance king, man. You have so many titles. Yeah. You know, only person who had more titles than you was Lennox Lewis. I think it's you. <laughs> I thought it was you. No, but talk to me about some of Angel Production sticky situation. Honestly? Yes. She, she came to me a couple of times mm -hmm. and said, uh, Mayor, I have a very important role. Okay. I need you to play it. And we've been going through this for like, honestly, about a year and a half. year and a half? Yeah, she constantly reminds me. And every time the role to play, I'm always out of the country. Okay, okay. I mean, honestly, she called the last time she called me, I was in Jamaica. And I said, all right, Angel, as I come up, we have a link up. Right. And I went at the, she picked me up, and we went at the um, the house mm -hmm. where she do the, the, the movie. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes on the role play. So China, talk to me about Summer Angel, world the premiere, premier. sticky situation. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. She did really good. And mm -hmm. I said before, it's amazing that she touched on women's rights and standing up. and. Right the abuse that people go through, mm -hmm. they're scared to talk up right. and for her to highlight that right mm -hmm. now, it's amazing that she did that and she found, you know, her voice. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone that watches it, now mm -hmm. they can find their voice. So That's that was very important in the show that I love that she mm -hmm. did it. She wrote, produced, act. She's very talented. I'm so proud of her. I love her. She did amazing. I heard the only thing Summer didn't do in that movie was operate a camera. <laughs> She, she, did everything. she did everything. She did good, and mm -hmm. all the other actors and actresses, mm -hmm. they did amazing. The mm -hmm. writing was good, the storyline was good, mm -hmm. and of course, the action part, the nice too. It was. It was. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm here on the red carpet <laughs> with Crystal Couture, yes. sister of the director, writer. Summer everything, did it all. Everything. She She's did all it. the way from Brooklyn for the world premiere of Sticky Situation. Talk to me about the movie. Oh my gosh, it was wonderful. It had me on my feet. There was some times where I was just screaming out loud because I'm like, wow, mm -hmm. this is really happening. This is really my big sister. Shout out to Summer Angel, meow, it is her. She did it again. She did it again, Summer Angel. Summer Angel. No fear, <laughs> she is here. <laughs> Tell me, uh, how did it feel watching this movie, watching your mom? doing her thing in the mo in the lead role? It was interesting to me because I never actually watched any of her oh. movies before. This is actually my first time, mm -hmm. which is kind of surprising, but I love the storyline. I feel like um, it had a lot, a lot of people can relate to it and, you know, actually feel what she was feeling and mm -hmm. how the movie went. So I'm glad, I'm happy for her. I think she did a wonderful job. Um, I'm here with Mitchell Boo on the red carpet, the world premiere of Sticky Situation, Summer Angel production. Mitchell Boo, talk to me about the movie. Let me tell you something about this movie. This movie is very touchy. And this movie, me, when I go home, I'm going to cry. You You're know going I'm to gonna, cry? Let me tell you why I'm going to cry. Because I know enough people will go through this. Okay. And they handy their mother, their sister, turn a blind eye. Right. Okay. So it's really touching. And this this way where I, I go look for people, and this way we talk about everything. Okay. I have this lady I forgot to bring her. Mm -hmm. And her uncle touched her when she was five to she was 15 years old. And when she decided she's going to talk, right, the grandmother put her down and said, listen, if you talk, you're going to go in the system. You're not going to see nobody. Right. So shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. 
she didn't care, she still talked, and her grandma, nobody go look for her. Oh. Till she 18 years old, when she get out, then she come back and she go look for her mom, because her mom tell her, well, you should have shut the door. Mm -hmm. Why you stay and take all that? Well, you want it, that's why you got it. I'm here with Santana. Talk to me about this wonderful movie, Sticky Situation. Oh, it was an amazing movie. Um, the message was very powerful. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it touched my heart. Mm -hmm. uh, I held back the tears. I couldn't hold back, to hold, hold back my tears. And also, you know, just the power that she displayed, especially towards the end of the, of the movie, mm -hmm. you know. We're here with Zim Production. They shot this wonderful movie. Yeah. Talk to me about the movie, man. You know, the yeah. production team and everything. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, me and Summer just worked hard. Okay. You know, put it together. Uh, the location, just getting the location, getting the people. Right. And all I had to do basically was just was film it. Mm -hmm. And we got together, edited it, chopped mm -hmm. it down, and and you know that's what the result you know it was a lot of hard work just um sitting up late at night and mm -hmm. editing making sure that the audio was right making right. sure that the color correction mm -hmm. and everything was right and the timing of the, of the scenes and i mean it, it, there were scenes we had to cut mm -hmm. you know we just cut out you now, know, I, so, I think you guys yeah. did a fantastic job with the editing oh thank it, you it really flowed thank you it really thank flowed you. thank you and, and i always say movies great when it's edited so well, yes, you still can use the imagination. Yes, you get my point. Yes, you don't have exactly. to see it all there. Right, you know what happened that's not there. Right. So I think it was a fantastic job. Oh, thank you. Yep, yep. Thank you. Yep. Thank how you. how was it working with Summer? Because she's oh wow integral in the entire movie, writer, producer, etc. Wow, uh, tireless warrior, just um just relentless and precise, like. Mm -hmm. So much to the point where, you know, I mean, we argued, we fussed, you know, because I have, I come from, you know, what I know. Mm -hmm. Now I try to introduce her and, and then back and forth. And mm -hmm. so us going at it like that produced. Made it better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then we would sit and watch it and we would say, man, look at what we did, you know. Okay. You know this going to kill them, you know what I mean? We, <laughs> they going to love this. And, and we couldn't wait to show it because we wanted, we knew how we felt about it. So we just couldn't wait. It was like, oh, man, like, I can't wait till they see it because I want to see them respond. I want to see them cry. I want to see them get into it. I want to see them holler. I want to see them, you know what I mean? So.